I used to feel a bit kind of cringy about having the goddess as a title, definitely. You know, so I'd have a printed image and it'd have the title, the goddess, and, or Gemma Kaufman. Sometimes it would read Gemma Kaufman, the goddess, and I'd be like, oh, God, what are people going to think about that? But the paintings name themselves. I don't labour or worry about what they're called, they tell me. This painting unfolded over like many months and all I had was a little picture on my phone to remind me of what stage it was at and every time I saw the painting because of the rapid change of and the instability of the of what I was going through at that time I would meet the painting and it would be different every time and I would be different every time and that is encapsulated within the layers of all the transitional stages of Adam and Eve it very nearly got called roots to fruits because of the thought processes I was having about putting down roots and beginning to think about growing. I think I've always found a, a release and something very necessary about playing with identity and not being anything fixed and having the opportunity to play and I definitely see it as play with dressing up in different characters it opens up new ways of being. You move differently, and if you're wearing something different, you, you, you feel different. You embody and you kind of channel different ways of being. I don't know how else to explain it. I mean, it's so interesting. These movements, all these postures, all these shapes that I hold are not, are not the no my normal body language. Mm -hmm. They come from the, the costume. And it's, and it's that. It's, it's the movement or the posture and the shapes of this figure that then connects with the work. Uh, you know, it's not, uh, it's, it's, not it's, the what's it's not the person, it's what's embodied here. It's that gesture. Our studio is in Hackneywick. There's quite a lot of artist studios there and there's a festival once a year where the studios are all opened. I went to Vanessa's. She was exhibiting this piece. I became mesmerized, as many people do when they come to the exhibition. I have a very strong um, sensational um, experience with that colour orange and I was kind of saying that and Vanessa and I were connecting about a kind of vibration that comes off these, these colours. We wanted to put on a show that was framed with a narrative and to come into the gallery would be to kind of experience being in, inside a story. So we very much wanted to write a, a press release that was a, opening that like a gateway almost. That's a great question for that painting because the Adam and Eve and the goddess have got the transitional stages but they are just, well they're key stages for sure and I have shared them and I did hesitate whether I should on the blog but I have shared that with my blog audience. Chaos has in the region of 500 plus photos of each stage over the past year and I'm definitely interested in how they could work in terms of importing all 500 images or in terms of a short film piece for Chaos and I'm quite excited to do that yeah, as well. The thing about making them actually move. Yeah, really actually amazing. move. Mm. And that painting is so much about movement, so for it to have an accompanying film that's kind of moving between all those stages, I think, would be really interesting. Thank you. Really good questions. Thank you. Thank you, Lucy. Pleasure. <laughs> I'll do it again.